I have something I want to tell you. Hello, my loves, and welcome back to Plus Size by Default. Today, we're going to be talking about um, my weight loss journey that I just recently started. It was brought to my attention that I should put it on my channel. I really wasn't going to um, include it because I felt like, okay, well, my channel should pertain to makeup and hair because that's what I wanted it to pertain to. But then it was like, I have to remember that I, I put all of this work into my channel. I do this. Yes, you guys view, you guys like, you guys comment, but I do most of the work. So I feel like, you know, I should be able to put whatever I want on my channel without it being a problem. So I decided to include you guys in my weight loss journey. Um, I'm really, really nervous because I've come a long way <laughs> with how I feel about my body. Like, I'm one of those girls where I was wearing, like, trunks and t-shirt to the pool. Like, one of those girls. Because I... I didn't feel comfortable and you know back I'm 22 years old now but back when I was 13 14 15 and you know ages like that it wasn't cool to be fat you know like nobody wanted to in, in middle school high school nobody wanted to be with the fat girl well let me not say fat because uh, I'm plus size okay um but yeah nobody wants to be with the plus size girl even though plus size really it was fat back then so we're gonna refer to it as fat but now it's plus size um yeah nobody wanted to be with the fat girl back then so, it kind of sucks. And then on top of that, it's hard getting into wanting to lose weight when it's so, so much fucking awesome food out there. Even though I'm super picky and I, like, I don't eat stuff like chocolate, whipped cream, cream cheese. Like, I don't eat stuff that you might eat, but I do have my snacks that destroy me, which has made me flabby McFlabkins. I was waking up 3 o'clock in the morning having big ass trays of Rice Krispie Cheats and eating sandwiches and you can't live like that. It's plenty of ways to be healthy and to eat great and be and be happy. You know how good I feel waking up every single morning? But you know what? For the past two weeks, well, let me see, not say for the past two weeks, for, what's today? Tuesday? What's today, Cha Cha? No, today's Wednesday. Um, since last week, I want to say February 1st, because today is the, doo -doo, give me a second, I want to say today is the 10th, right? I started on the 1st, so I'm 10 days into my journey. Um, I've been clean eating, working out half an hour a day, like, working. So I have a lot of plus size girls on all of my channels, and yeah, it's, it's okay to be plus size if you're healthy with it you know and a lot of the time when I first started getting recognition for being beautiful and being big or whatever case maybe however you want to put it I started eating more because I felt like okay well it was acceptable to be fat since I'm being accepted now but it's not true you can be healthy and be 200 pounds you know 200 pounds does not mean you have to be this huge person 200 pounds can be muscle mass you can have like 7% body weight and oh, sorry y'all that's my alarm telling me to work out <laughs> um oh come on don't do this to me right now but yeah i just want to be healthy i don't feel healthy ew i don't feel healthy i'm 22 years old and i feel like i'm 45 i should be able to my knees shouldn't be cricket cricket i shouldn't be complaining about stuff like this these are my prom time years. These is when we, huh, 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 you feel me? Like, this is, this is that time. Because then, all it makes me think about is, when I'm 50 or when I am 45, how the fuck am I going to feel? And then another thing that really blows mine is when somebody else that doesn't really know the struggle tries to tell you about your struggle. Yeah. I, I, I can admit that I am a quitter. No, I hate to work out, but I love to walk. So you see how that, that balances out? Somebody that might hate to do crunches could do um, wall sits, you know? Like something that alternates for something else. It doesn't always have to be, okay, well, this is how I lost weight, so this is how you're going to lose weight. Everybody's freaking different. I can lose weight 10 times faster than you can. You can lose weight 20 times faster than me. Like, it, it, it all depends, you know? So, that's another thing that I'm learning. 
Also, I'm learning how to love myself. Again, I have a video on confidence. Watch it if you're uh, if you're new to my channel. But I have a video up on confidence. And the main thing about weight loss is you have to love yourself. You'll never get anywhere if you don't love yourself. You can't expect somebody else to love you if you don't love yourself. You know, God made you how you are for a reason or whoever you believe in. I mean, not just say God, but I, I believe in God. But you were created how you are for a reason. Somebody loves you, whether you know it or not. A lot of the times I feel like I'm alone in this world. I have no friends. I have nobody that cares about me. And then it's like, boom, out the woodwork. I start talking about how I don't care about myself. And, and then, boom, everybody's like, what? Girl, stop playing. Let her. And you start to realize that you are loved. Okay, you may not be... Somebody may not be badgering you every single day. Oh my God, I love you. But people do love you and people do care. And people want to see you healthy, just like with me. And you know what really turned and what opened my eyes is the fact that I was scared. My mom has diabetes. My grandmother has diabetes. My grandfather has diabetes. Like, it's so much health problems in my family. And it scared the shit out of me. Because I got sick not too long ago. Um, I had like a tonsil infection or whatever. And... It scared me because I don't like the hospitals. And when they give me needles, oh my God, I'm I'm 22 years old. My little sister had to hold my freaking hand. I was flipping out. So, be, so being that I would have to stick myself with a needle every single day, I couldn't do it. So it clicked in my head, Amaris. It's never too late. I've been um, post-diabetic or I don't know how you say it, but you know, like about to be diabetic for a long time. My doctor has been telling my my... My mother and my father, listen, y'all got to do something about her before it get too late. And God, I really do appreciate this one because so far I, I've been doing pretty good. I haven't caught anything or I haven't, um, you know, like, not, well, not like that. But I mean, like, I haven't caught anything as to any serious health um, conditions. And it, it does run in my family. So, I just basically am making this video just to let you ladies know, like, somebody out there, it's having the same struggle. If you feel like you can't do it on your own, join a Facebook group or join a, a chat group on your phone with your friends. Like, talk to a best friend. Don't just feel like, okay, well, nobody cares. I'm going to just give up and continue to eat because that's how I was feeling. I wake up every single morning with a smile on my face. 8 o'clock, I would, you could ask anybody. Anybody that knows me, 8 o'clock, I'm talking about casual every day. 2 o'clock, waking up, chilling, doing it, you know. Now I'm waking up 8 o'clock. I may, I, I'm lying. I'm waking up at 7 o'clock so I can eat my breakfast. Then I have my snack. And we're doing small portions. This is small portions. We're not eating. I used to eat like, oh, girl, I'm, too, I'm talking about like I'm cooking for eight people and I'm eating about four because it's only me and my dad. So I'm eating half of that and then he's eating half. So it's like I'm a type of person where I don't want to leave no leftovers. So I'm going to eat all that. If it's something left in the pot, I'm going to get it. But now for the past 10 days... I felt a lot lighter. Mind, body, soul, everything. I felt a lot lighter. My attitude is changing. Like, I'm not as cranky. Like, I can feel the difference. And I'm not saying that the weight is going to drop off tomorrow. I'm not saying that the weight is not going to drop off tomorrow. Because everybody's body is different. What I'm saying is that work towards it. Just have that in your head. Oh my, I have a goal. Your goal... or oh, Every time I walk up them stairs, I'm talking about, like, I live in a building where we have six flights, right? And to every flight, it's two sets of stairs. So, you know, you go up one, landing, up one, then you're at the floor. Cool. Every time I hit, so far for the past 10 days, I've been getting to four without stopping. I get to four, and then I'll be like, okay, well, I can't do it no more. I'll wait, and then do the rest. And then get to ten, get, get to ten, what the fuck, sorry. Get to six rest and then come back down and do it all again cool so what i'm learning is i mean what i'm learning i lost track sorry um what i started doing is when i get to the point where i'm like yo i'm gonna quit because like i said before in the beginning of the video i'm a quitter when i feel like i'm gonna quit i just say yo listen we trying to get skinny or not. Like, what's up? Like, you you, you ready to put in this work? Because it's not just going to happen overnight. Just like your hand decided it was going to lift to go to your mouth, you need to lift them legs up these stairs. And that's what's really, that's what pushes me to do what the hell I got to do. Because at the end of the day, it's not about being skinny because I don't want to be skinny. I love the skin I'm in and I love how God created me. 
So this video is basically just a little bit of motivation. Like, I'm not saying right now, jump out the window. Or right now, go to the supermarket and buy all this healthy stuff. Because it, it don't even have to start like that. It could start by you dropping soda, drinking more water, eating more fruit, and doing and, and eating more vegetables. That's it. Start small. We're not talking about tomorrow, jump into insanity. No. We're talking about maybe tomorrow do a little Zumba. You know, look it up on YouTube. I'll drop some links below if, if, if it helps. But this is something that I'm really starting to care about. Because it is my health. And I don't want to die anytime soon. You know? So, this video was just a little bit of motivation for my ladies. Um, I really love... Uh, uh, I really love you guys. I appreciate the motivation. I appreciate the words of endearment. Like, I appreciate everything that you guys are doing so far. Like, continue to build your channels just like I am. Continue to do your Instagram thing. Um, please, ladies, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Like, it takes two seconds to do. So, um, yeah, like, I hope you took this into consideration. I really hope this can help. Um, anything else you want to know, like, I've been doing a lot of research on, like, milk prep and, um, how to flavor your water detoxes. So, if there's anything that you would like to know, you can either DM me on Instagram, write me on Facebook, you know, even hit my, my, um, email if you want. But I'm here, and if you're ready to get started, let's do this. I hope you enjoy my channel. Don't forget to check out the rest of my channels. I love you, beauties. Enjoy. I have something I want to tell you.